In this video, we are going to discuss about field dependency. So what is this field dependency? So you can see field dependency as a drop down list filters. So that is you can call it as pick list filters. So there is a controlling field and dependent field. For example, you can take it as country and states. So country is a controlling field. States is a dependent field. If you select India, only those countries which is present in India, it will be listed on the dependent field. It is easy to summarize the pick list values. So now let's see the small video demonstration how to create a field dependency. So first we'll choose the fields which one should be dependent to which one. So to create field dependency, first we'll choose which is the dependent field and which is the controlling field. So in labs object, I have two fields called one is floor and one more is list of labs. So I want to make it whenever I'm choosing first floor, the first three labs is available in only in first floor. So if I select two last three labs, this pet scan help uh, euro this pet scan eurodynamic and pulmonary function lab. So these are will be in the second floor. So right now, whatever I am choosing, it's showing all the labs. So here, which one is the con here? Floor, here floor. This field will be the controlling field. Here, lab name will be the dependent field. So we'll create a field dependency right now. So this is a custom fields and relationships. In this place, you can find there is a field dependency button. So just click that button. So here new field dependency. So controlling field will be the floor and dependent field will be the lab name and select continue. So in first floor, what are the labs are there? So we'll choose that one. And select include values. So in second floor and select include values. Now in first floor only these three labs will be displayed in second floor in other three labs will be displayed. So I'm just saving this one. So field dependency is created and go to labs inserting one new record. So now you can see that this field is this field has become hidden. So enter some particular amount and select the patient details and doctor details. Choose the floor. So here you will get only three labs, whichever it is available in the first floor. So if you choose second floor, so only these three labs will be available. So it is working with the dependency. Now one more is here if we press the if we press the lookup or if we trying to search something here it's showing only IDs. So actually I want name as well as some other details also. So let's see further what to do. So if we are searching this one, here we are getting only patient ID, right? 
so we need patient name and if we want some other details also you can add it so how to do that so you want details from the patient object so go to the patient object view fields so if you go search layouts panel here you can find lookup dialogs so click edit so here only patient ID is there so you can add patient name if you want you can add patient weight also so here I just added two things here I just included two things that is called patient name and patient uh, gender so I'm just saving it right now saved so now go to labs so here try to create a new record so right now I'm searching for patient so here you can find patient name as well as patient gender so this is all about field dependency